week. And let's not forget the West Wales Raiders. They were brushed aside earlier on in the season by the Bulls, 82 points to six in the Challenge Cup third round back in February. So we've gone through both sides. The referee dressed in green, he's from Castleford, just along the M62 from the line. Five minutes gone, Flanagan to Chisholm, Chisholm to Hallis, Hallis brought down in a free man tackle. So, stern stuff in defence thus far from the West Wales Raiders, but they can't stop Callum Bustin. Callum Bustin charges to the West Wales line and the Bulls have their first try of the afternoon. He really knows what League One's all about, John. Yeah, absolutely. He, you know, he got loaned out by the Broncos to a few different places. For me, do you know what else is good about him? He's a good bloke. He arrived at the game halfway through the academy match and came straight down to talk to all the lads from London that he used to play with, which I think is great stuff. Brought down, a metre out from the line. It goes to Flanagan, it goes to Chisholm. Chisholm along the line to Pickersgill. Pickersgill to Hitchcocks, to Gibson, to Dalton Grant. And the Welsh International will cross for try number nine of the season. Bradford Bulls 10, West Wheel Raiders 0. Well, great. Best to ask them. Chisholm over on that eastern edge. That one has zipped between the posts, and it is Bradford Bulls 12, West Wales Raiders nil. Eight minutes gone here at Otso, and the Bulls are beating Hell just shy of the West Wales Raiders 10. George Flanagan comes up with an error, it's gone backwards. Crossfield kick for Ethan Ryan. Ryan touches down into the corner. Telepathic rugby league from the Bulls again. They've gone back to back, and it's now 16 points to nil. That one was telegraphed. Processes, if you do what you've done, been practicing all week, it's easy. Chisholm from the touchline, 18 points to nil. 11 minutes gone on the clock here at Odsall. And West Wales Raiders already showing, showing signs of... So Bradford, two tackles remaining in this set. Couple of metres away from the line. Hallis underneath the stakes. And it's a fourth try for the Bradford Bulls. And it's 22 points to nil. 30 minutes gone. And if we fought the Bulls, John, we're going to show a lot of it. 17, the former England Academy captain, Stanning Lee, youngster. And as Dane Chisholm goes from three from three to four from four. Bulls live, proper sport, here at Odsall Stadium. Come on you Bulls. So, back on the way. Matt Garside from the restart. Matt Garside, full power ahead. And Matt Garside finds the support from Ethan Ryan. Ryan to Chisholm. The Bulls will go the distance. The home run. It is five tries now. We've had 15 minutes on the clock, 28 points to them. Well, what do we say about that? Great break from Matt Gullin. I think last week I mentioned it at Doncaster that white line fever took over second half in the last 20 minutes and we just today, and we've seen it already, we're passing, passing and scoring. This isn't about individuals, it's about Bradford Bulls. Dane Chisholm makes it five from fast tackle, 15 metres out centre field. They're going on the far stand side to Lafeway, on the power play to Pickersgill. Pickersgill still going towards the line to Lafeway, and he will crash over for Bradford's sixth try in the afternoon. And what a way, John, to celebrate your signing a loan deal that'll keep you at Odsall till the end of the year. Six points to nil to the good. Which day Chisholm does, and we're in the 23rd minute here in Otso. The Bulls, they're beating the court, John, and breathing space. Absolutely, I mean, 36 by Lewis. Lewis helped by Harris as well on that occasion. It's going to go to Pickersgill, Pickersgill to Ross Peltier. Ross Peltier away, inside support from Pickersgill. Lee Smith will roll back the years. Golden Oldies on a Sunday afternoon at Oxford, and it's a seventh try from the Bradford Bulls. 40 points to nil, 26 minutes on the clock. 
not that structured in what they're doing. And let's be fair, someone's just said it, commented on, you know, it's a young team, an experienced team. Sometimes it's difficult as a ball carrier to know what to do. I think when you're playing against, a, you know, if you like a semi-professional side or a more professional side, it's a lot more structured, so yeah, great. They lead by 42 points to nil as Chisholm goes down the middle to George Flanagan. Flanagan inside to Matt Garside. It's another try for the Bradford Bulls. And we've got 11 minutes to go and a half time and it's now 46 points to nil. Investment in these things and if they're prepared to take the time and someone's prepared to put the money in, then yes, it will develop properly. But you know, for me this year, I think they've been thrown in the deep end of it, if I'm honest. It's probably one of the strongest league ones that have been for a few years. Dan Chisholm makes it eight from eight here for the Bradford Bulls. Halafia out of dummy half to Pickersgill. They're going to run it on the power play. Gibson to Pickersgill. First try of the season for Brandon Pickersgill. No noogie one. He'll enjoy that one, Joe. He will, yeah. We've been speaking this week, me and Pickers, about him getting over the line for one this week. And he won one last week and he's had a few chances. We're getting back to Lenefli until uh, close to midnight. Chisholm from that eastern touchline. Joe Keys, I think he's applying for the job. Yeah, I think we found the new kicker. 54 trap the ball, which he will do, and he'll pick it up from his own in goal area. And now he's going to float the ball to Hitchcock. Jai Hitchcock could show us some Super League class. Here goes Jai Hitchcock to Chisholm. Dan Chisholm underneath the sticks. It's going to be try number 10 of the first half. We've still got three minutes to go. It's 58 points to nil. I catch it, score there from the Bulls. Hitchcock and Chisholm lead. Dan Chisholm with the right boot from in front, 60 points to nil. So anything York can do, the Bradford Bulls can do better. And we've still got two and a half minutes to go to half time on the scoreboard, John. Yeah. Having lived in Wales in the early 70s, I'm really enjoying this Bradford Bulls performance. Bulls live proper sport, the Bulls hunting Sorry. the first points of the second half. Chisholm. To Minchella, Minchella to the line, grounds the ball. Try number 11 up for the Bulls, 64 points to nil. We've been playing 43 minutes at Odson, 37 to go. In Chisholm, he's after John Rudd's record, 11 from 11, 66 points to nil. 36 minutes remaining here at Odson. Well, a shame there, eh? Because West Wales has signed a contract extension. He will remain at Odsall until the end of 2018. Ross Peltier! Like a scrum half! Where has that come from, Ross Peltier? Ross Peltier is getting in on the act! He's having a party! And Joe Keys, then Chisholm, might be after your goal. Seen Ross Peltier move as fast as that since we were stealing golf balls on Bradford Moor Golf Course. Yeah, I can believe that Mick as well knowing Ross, so uh, I'm sure he'd be pleased to hear that in back commentary again, a few home twos coming out about him, so he's always had good feet has he? Cox looks for support, twisting and turning, finds Pickersgill, Pickersgill down the middle, here goes Elliot Minchella, the zip, the zag, Elliot Minchella pins the ears back, he's gliding into the corner! Elliot Minchella has a double, it's 76 points to nil, delight for the Bulls fans, a horror show for the Raiders. That one is on point, 13 from 13, it's 78 points to nil at Odsall, busting Grant, Ryan Hallis, Chisholm with a brew. On the last tackle now, the kick is going to come in from Hunter. Hunter's kick is charged down. Here goes Ross Peltier. Ross Peltier, will he go the distance? He's found Brandon Pickers' girl. Pickers' girl. He's waited till round nine to get his first try. He's now got two. 82 points to nil for the Bulls. And Ross Peltier gets all the plaudits in back play. He this one has cracked it again. Dan Chisholm, 
14 from 14 and he has not broken he's equaled John Woods great defense over on that far stand side Archie snuck there but here come the balls again Ethan Ryan up and over halfway inside support it's going to be another try for the Bradford Bulls underneath the sticks they will go and it is now 88 points to nil what a try that one was John. to break the record of points in a match which he does 15 from 15 successful conversions that's 30 points two tries is eight John Wood's record here goes Matt Garside he's on for a hat trick he's brought down on the halfway line 20 meters in from the far stand side as Bradford once again surge forward here goes Vila Alafihi he will get try number 16 for the Bradford Bulls 94 points to nil it's a procession yeah absolutely great to get for CV get on the score sheet um, he deserved his place Afternoon's game, Chisholm in the record book again. 16 from 16, 96 points to nil. So Chisholm has the goals and the most points in a game. Fihi in at dummy half, misses out busting, finds Minchella to pick his girl. Dalton Grant gets a second, and that is the 100 points up for the Bradford Bulls. 17 tries, and it's 100. Points to nil, has the scoreboard, got trip. Firmly stay with Eric Batten, Trevor Foster, Steve McGowan and Leslie Vanicolo. Dane Chisholm Joe, he's kicking them from all over. Yet to miss this afternoon, 17 from 17, 102 points to nil. We're still wrapped up, 15 shy of the halfway line, the sun's still blazing down here at Odd Lalafee. Out of dummy half, finds the support from Elliot Minchella. Elliot Minchella's going underneath the sticks or to the right. And it is try number 18 for the Bradford Bulls. And it's 106 points to nil. 65 minutes gone. It would be, of course, it would have been blown up by now at 60 nil. Dentism. Um... No. One miss all afternoon. 108 points to nil, Chisholm, 18 from 18 attempts, George Robinson, Kirk, Kirk brought down just outside the 10, Minchella in there at dummy half, it's going to go to Bustin, Bustin to Chisholm, Chisholm floats it out to Ethan Ryan, Ryan towards the corner, Ethan Ryan has try number 19, it is also easy for the Bradford Bulls, it is 112 points to nil, well, Heathley Cougars 86, Coventry Bears 6, Bradford move the ball out to Ethan Ryan, here goes Ethan Ryan, centre in centre field, still going Ethan Ryan, looks for support, finds it from Pickersgill, Pickersgill keeps it going, the balls are going in, this will be a fantastic try if we get there, the referee will stop no. the clock. And he's going to award the try. It's another try to the Bradford Bulls. Afternoon, really. But what you must say is how clinical Bradford have been. Um, Dane's had a great afternoon with the boot. Scored a couple of tries as well. Um, stands us in good stead. You know, we've played some good stuff and followed the processes. Uh, we've got another game next Saturday. Because has it in centre field. It goes to Chisholm. Chisholm going towards the line. Dan Chisholm! With all the dummies in the world, back on the inside to fly again. Put it down, George. He does. Underneath the sticks. I think I'm going to have to call the famous Italian mathematician up from the Fabinici. Because this. To 48, which he does. 124 points to nil here at Odso. And Stephen Foster says, I'm really glad George remembered to put the ball down. And the clock says...